this bit is a rally, a rally of Suntour conversions of Torrington. Mostly they're marinas and delightful A35s, a beautiful product of the 70s. The, the 70s as a period is, is probably one that will, everybody regards nowadays as a bit naff, but it's like the sort of 50s, it'll come back. Suntour conversions sadly don't exist any longer, but their spirit lives on. How much did you pay for yours? I paid £10 for this camper, and it was all kitted out. It was as it was. It was awning. It was beautiful, I thought, so I restored it. I've had this vehicle now since um, 85, 16 years. It's a very versatile vehicle. You could just load her up and go anywhere with her. That's, that's what life's all about. In the 70s, it was the height of cool to have big hair and a Morris Marina, where you could cook a romantic spaghetti bolognese and maybe a bottle of Matthias Rosé. Mm. We started with a three-man tent. We moved on to the marina, which was about £500, and moved on to the Sherpa, which cost us about £1,000. It's, it's a bit addictive, really. It's just the fact that you can just put everything into, into the vehicle, pack everything up in, and off you go, and then you've just got such freedom with it. It's, it's much better than a tent, I think, because, you, you know, it's all on wheels. I don't know whether it's the gypsy in all of us. Everybody, you know, wants to, to break out away from the norm. If I had a choice between the wife and the vehicle, it would be the vehicle, because I love it so much. Wouldn't be without it now. Out of 10, how much do you like it? 11. And so we say farewell to this happy bunch, and long may they come to Torrington, the home of Suntour Conversions. <laughs> <laughs>